We'll call and raise up a what? Can't hear you. Because nothing is truly yours until you understand it. So brother, I had you stand up for a reason because tomorrow Pastor Simmons is going to teach. But I'm, I, I will have a little caveat in this teaching. And it is to remind you brothers that you are the ace of spades in the deck of cards. You're the, you're the ace of spades. And I, I, Pastor T and I and, and Lil T just, tears, just got back from Mobile, Alabama. And it's not original. Literally, I spend time, and some of y'all need to start doing this. Some of y'all are too closed off. You stay in your own comfortable circles. And you don't hardly talk to anybody new. You don't get to know people. You don't talk to people unless you got some kind of motive. You need to understand that God is putting you in rooms, put you in places for you to meet people, connect with people who you've been created to help and they've been created to help you. But it'll never happen if you just stay in your comfort zone. I'm just dumb, dumb, dumb you know, I'm, I'm shy. Stop it. You're talking about you 60 and you, you, you shy. Man, if you don't get out of my face with that foolishness. <laughs> Forgive me, ladies. That's my passion talking, all right? You know, take them labels, man. People be putting labels on you. What are you talking about? Jesus tell you go turn that, go fill those six water pots up with water? Go fill them up. You think he care if you're an introvert? Well, I'm an introvert. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be embarrassed and tell, bring, bring in the front there. Man, do what the Lord tell you. Stop letting people put all these, your, your mama, I don't care who it is. Your stepmama, your ain't your mom. I don't, it, 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 I don't care. You be letting people be grown folk. People putting, you, you still trying to prove yourself. You got to know who you are, man. I don't care how old you are. And when you come here and you come here, any other motives, any other stuff, you got the wrong idea. I don't care how old you are. I'm going to check you. Because if God brought you here, he didn't bring you here to keep staying and be fooling around and all that kind of stuff. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Come on, somebody. So I told this to the intercessors. And by the way, this is not original. And I brought all of that to say, I end up getting this from Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward is, is an amazing receiver. We spent time with him and his family. We were at a ceremony yesterday. And he told me his coach, and this for all the brothers, this for the ladies too. Because if you're in the kingdom, you're an ace. How many of y'all play space? I think some of y'all play space, right? Right? Did they play space on the east side? Right? When you get born again, you're an ace Amen. of spade. <laughs> Has nothing to do with no, no skin color. All that foolishness. Because I know how some people, you know, see, that's the black race. See, we, we the ace of spade. Stop all that foolishness. <laughs> I'm saying people do all that kind of cr crazy stuff. Man, every one of us in the kingdom, God has now gotten you connected. His spirit is in you. You now are the ace of spades in the deck of cards. So, everybody say, I'm an ace. I'm an ace. See, once you, see, what God did when you got born again, he put you back in ace status. Y'all got it? Yes. And the only way you won't dominate is, on, is, is only, and anybody know who, who trumps the, the ace? And when you don't take God's word serious and do it, that's what you, you're a joke. And yeah, yeah, you like that, I'll pass him. Yeah. And a joke will trump this, a joker. In other words, you're hearing God's word. Like I'm going to talk about God's word. We're talking about relationships. We also have our EXO conference. So all of you all that are married or not married, come to the EXO conference. Come, I don't care if your marriage on fumes. It doesn't matter. I don't care if y'all not speaking. Come sit in different places in here. <laughs> you got to grow up, man. You understand? Sometimes you got to do stuff that's for the better of you, that's going to outlive you, acting all childish. A lot of times with relationships, it's just childishness. Crazy stuff like she didn't speak to me. What? What are we talking about? She didn't speak to you. Why you didn't speak to her? You ever thought about that? Man, they, they, they must be prejudiced because I came here, I'm black and it's all white people and nobody waited on me. You ever thought they never been trained right? Does it always have to be about you? 
You ever thought their management needs to have a conversation like I did with the owner of Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Kept my cool. And I didn't go telling that owner, man, you need to get a guy out of here, man. I don't like how he talk to me and all that shit. I said, hey, had, your, your guy kind of aggressive. He came off. I said, I hate to see how he talked to a woman. I said, but he's probably good. Just, just give him a little training. And I kept going. Yeah, yeah. How many of y'all know God has done that with me? Amen. Some of us, man, we'll kill. That's, the, that's God. God gave David one time. David did something wrong. And then God gave him an opportunity to decide what his punishment is going to be. And one of the options was to be thrown into the hands of man. David said, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I'll go with your mercy. Don't put me in the hands of man. Why? Because a man or men, men and women, are the ones that will crucify you for the very thing they do. <laughs> so we got the joker. And sometimes that's what we end up being Christians. Becoming a joke. I want, I want to leave you with this so you'll know, because we'll talk about it tomorrow. Pastor Sim going to talk about character tomorrow. Without Pastor T knowing, by the way, this ace and joker, this is not original to me. This came up, I told our intercessors, because I took my time to have a conversation with a gentleman by the name of Heinz Ward, who was also on his team. And it was a fascinating conversation. And he said, one day in high school, because I asked him, I said, because when you talk to people, ask them about themselves. And they will tell you. Because they're humans. So the first thing you want to have great relationship with people, and I'm so glad Tears have said that because I know it's from the Lord because he wanted me to give you this acronym. He said, I said, who impacted you? He said, my high school coach. I said, how? He said, one day he put an ace of spade in my locker. And I didn't know who put it in there. And he said, I was just asking him, like, man, who put this ace of spades in my What is this about? He said, a week later, his coach came and said, did you get that, you get that ace of spades in your locker? And he said, yeah, I've been wondering. He said, why you put it in my locker? He says, all the players listen to you. All of them listen to you. You the ace on this team. So he says, he need, I need you to understand something. When you're the ace, your attitude got to be right. You got to be able to communicate. And your effort, A, C, E. What get us in trouble? Attitudes. Stuff don't go well. I could have had an attitude. I could have gone to that stadium because this is what I was thinking. All y'all around here, nobody has the bus driver's contact number. All this stuff start coming out to you. Start thinking about all this stuff. Man, what's going on? What's the logistics? Y'all have all this? You start thinking of all this stuff. Your attitude. Some of you are born again, but your attitude bad. Your attitude. The ace, the first, it's, it's an attitude. He said, you got to bring your attitude. And here's the other part, which has always been very important to me. You got to know how to communicate. Amen. I'm from New Orleans. Marshall Falk and I, we were on the Rams team. We had to practice because in New Orleans, you got this dialect. You got, wow, Bon, what's up, LaFarty? What's happening, baby? <laughs> wow, Bon, what's up, Bon? <laughs> I ain't playing what you know. We making grocery. How many of y'all know everybody in the, in the country don't understand that foolishness? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you got to learn how to communicate. Yeah. You got to practice. If you're a leader, you got to communicate. I was, t I was telling the intercessors, when I stand in front of this and lead an intercessory prayer, I got to bring some enthusiasm. You got to bring enthusiasm to life. Your attitude. And then you got to practice communicating. Some of y'all don't talk because you don't practice communicating. It's one thing you're talking to your boys. It's a whole other thing when you're talking to other people. And you got to practice this. And the, and the third one, you, you control effort. It's your effort. You got to put effort in a marriage. You got to put effort. Marriages work. So this EXO conference, singles, y'all need to come learn how to swim before you get in the water. Need to learn how to swim before you get in that water. Come to this EXO conference. Testimony from Pastor Tim Ross. 
XO Conference, Jim and Karen Evans revolutionized his marriage. And here's what he said about the XO Conference. This is Pastor Tim Ross who came here. He said, they got it. They know what they're doing. And all you got to do is listen and put it into practice. Yes, sir. And no matter how bad your marriage is, yes, sir. it can be turned around. 